So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the Three of Cups. Now the Three of Cups is considered to be a card of reunions, but it's not its only connotation. Um, it's not always a romantic union. It's reunion in the broadest sense can be running back into someone or meeting up with purposefully someone or something that you have been away from for some time. Basically, it's considered to be a happy reunion. It's an upbeat card. It also can mean celebration your own or someone that you cared about, such as celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or happy occasion, would have been something like that in the recent past. So you either met up with someone that you hadn't seen in a long time, or you two crossed each other past, or you were having a romantic reunion with someone from your past but they were all happy reunions. It also could have been uh, celebrating something, such as a baby shower, a wedding, or some type of happy occasion. Now this Three of Cups is paired with the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords can indicate a new beginning also, possibly on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning can be started by a separation of some kind from a relationship or from a job. Just know that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning can be, underneath it all is good, beneficial energy. And that energy will take you to where you want to go and where you need to be. Because the Ace of Swords, it calls on us to not be afraid to take or make a leap if it's in our best interest. Once again, that's the Ace of Swords, and that's the recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen usually indicates a woman who will be very helpful to you at this time. She reminds you to bring love and compassion to your work, and that that is possible even if you work inside of a factory with objects all day rather than people. Keep in mind, things are probably better in your working world when this card appears in your reading than you are realizing. So at this time, you would just need to think positive. The Queen of Cups is paired with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting encouraging cards in the tarot. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, and that things in general will be going better than you thought possible. So make sure to enjoy this great energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. So with these two cards paired together, the Queen of Cups, now she's a woman, who's in your life, or she's a woman that's coming towards you, this woman is gonna be very helpful for you and to you. Uh, she'll remind you also to bring love and compassion to your work, and it could be more than just work, to your life, to your certain situations. Okay, so that's what the queen does, and being that she's paired with the nine of pentacles, uh, with this, uh, person, this lady that's coming towards you or in your life, she's going to uh, help you to bring your financial worries. She's going to help them to bring, to make them over. Your financial worries will be over for a while and they'll be going better than you thought possible. So this is going to be a great energy that you're getting from this, this lady. Like I said, I don't know if she's like your mother your sister, or a friend that's coming towards you, or it could be a work situation. But this is a positive, this is a very positive thing. Uh, it also will bring uh, good energy 
and it will remind you to share your wealth and happiness with others. And that's the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the three of swords. Now there's an element of sorrow that's undeniable when this card appears in a reading. What lies on the other side of this sorrow can be enhanced in can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow and pain that comes up at this time. You need to do that so that you can move past it. Basically, this card points to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move forward. So make sure to allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now, but do not wallow in it. You do not want, I'm sorry, you do not, and you should not want to allow grief or sorrow for a long periods of time. So make sure you don't wallow in grief or sorrow for any long periods of time. However, only you can decide how long is long enough and others won't be able to, to decide that for you. And that's the Three of Swords. It's paired with the Hierophant. Now with the Hierophant, you could be searching for the meaning of life and you're considered to be a great loyal friend. Now when this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important issues, their intelligence and empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you or it could be someone coming towards you or someone you know. And this person will also be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they are the genuine article, a true blue. Highly admired individuals who walk the walk and talk the talk and stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. And with these two cards paired together, the Three of Swords, there's an element of sorrow and pain at this time. Uh, you could be going through a certain situation that's making you sad, or you might be uh, having some bouts of depression uh, for whatever reason. Uh, being that it's paired with the uh, Herophot, you also could be searching for the meaning of life. Now, you could have someone coming towards you or someone in your life that will be helpful to you at this time. This person will be a great loyal friend if this is not you. This, will, this person will be a great loyal friend. Uh, they're, they're very intelligent and their empathy, they're very empathetic. Their empathy will, it usually puts them in a position to provide great support. So this person will be very supportive of you at, at, any, at this time that you're having this sorrow or sadness. Like I said, I don't know if it's your sister or I don't know if it's, a, if it's your father, but it's, um, they're the Hierophant type of person. So they're a true blue. So it's someone that you can you can trust in. They're highly admired. And they walk the walk and talk the talk. So they'll be a great assistance to you at this time. And that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the high priestess. Now this is a spiritual card. It has sexual overtones. It can mean that you are in a phase where you are... Where, I'm sorry. It can mean that you are in a phase where you are going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, and inspiration. This is a time to rely on your intuition and to your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It is also important to pay attention to your dreams right now. Keeping a dream diary or journal is going to be a good idea. That's the High Priestess and it's paired with the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands also refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy, 
about her. She could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When we're not referring to an actual person, this card stands for getting a whole lot accomplished and often the focus is on work and career. Keep in mind the queen is positive. The queen is uplifting energy. Now when this card stands for an actual person, an actual woman in your life, she's a very good friend who is solidly on your side. Even though she may seem, a, she probably seems a bit sore, she'll probably seem kind of self-absorbed or she is self-absorbed. <laughs> If you are trying to conceive, and this card appears in a reading, it's one of the most positive signs that, th that there can be. With these two cards paired together, the High Priestess is about you. You're in a phase where people are drawn to you, they're attracted to you, they're interested in you. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity and to inspiration. People will be looking to you for inspiration. They just want to know what you're thinking. They're, they're drawn to you. You're like the person that people want to get to know, want to meet. Also, if you have a dream diary, it's a good thing to keep a journal or something like that right now. Being that it's paired with the Queen of Wands, there's a lady in your life or she's coming towards you. She's going to have a lot of fire energy. Okay, this is a positive uplifting energy. Or you could be at the point where you feel like getting a lot accomplished. And um, don't forget this lady or this female that's coming towards you or in your life. She could be a mother or a sister because this person is like a really, really good friend, friend type. And she's solidly on your side. It could even be your wife. Okay. But with, with these two cards, cards paired together, because people are so drawn to you at this time, they find you physically attractive. Um, this person could be one of those people coming, coming towards you. She's also, the Queen of Wands is also smitten by you. So um, it's going to be a, a good thing. Uh, nothing in these two cards are saying anything negative it's just about a female with a lot of fire in her energy she could be part of like I said part of the people that are drawn to you she could be someone that's really attracted to you and you'll have a lot of attention at this time and that's going to be the outcome so Scorpio I hope this resonates as you know general readings they don't always resonate with everyone then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day.